We go over to Brad Lawler with Home Team Inspection. Risa sent us an email. She moved into an older home, Brad, that's uh, about 50 years old, and it smells like it's an old home. Mm -hmm. She says, quoting here, it smells like grandma's attic. Mm -hmm. She wants to know, how can she make her home smell new? Should she have the vents clean? Should she have the walls painted? What are What's going to give her a newer home smell? And I guess you could could help her here on this. Brad. Yeah. Well, I think it's a good question, and it's yeah. it's pretty common because the, the what happens is the contents of the home will determine what the home smells like. Mm. And even though the former folks moved out, a lot of the odors are left behind. We, we see a lot of pet odors. We see a lot of odors that are caused by water damage. Anytime that things are getting wet, whether it's wet wood, whether it's wet carpet, padding, um, drywall, a lot of the, the the moisture gets left behind. That's where a lot of the odors are coming from that you're that you're smelling in these houses. So, I mean, the the, the quickest way to get a new the the new house smell mm -hmm. is to put new materials in. You know, new carpeting uh, in particular will will make a, a dramatic change. Or removing the old carpeting. Um, if you've got old drapes or old curtains, you still see those things hanging up. Those will hold on to a lot of those those uh, odors too. So any of the soft surfaces you would want to replace, um, that will uh, change the change the 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 odor profile of the house. Uh, certainly a fresh coat of paint uh, will potentially seal up uh, some of the, the the odors that you have on the walls right now um, and will you know give you that the new latex paint smell, which is not necessarily pleasant, but it will you know put it into uh, something that's going to smell a little bit newer, a little fresher. But do ceilings as well and trim, right? Wall yeah, trim. every basically right. all of the surfaces. And it's, if you've moved into a home where there's been a smoker, yeah. uh, you may have to use specialized paint in order to seal up uh, the nicotine against the uh, against the wall uh, that's the only way to to get rid of that uh, oh you know ozone treatments ozium that only goes so far it doesn't really eliminate the problem you really have to seal those up what about vents cleaning the air you duct know vents? the uh, the vents are um, if they are holding a lot of dust they'll also hold uh odors. Uh, so you may want to just look down inside of the of the return, see how much mm -hmm. uh, dirt or debris you have there. Maybe use a small mirror and you can see down the uh, the line. If there is if there is dirt and dust, yeah, then certainly uh, a duct cleaning is uh, is in order. Good. All right. And especially if you've had construction in your home recently where there's been dust and sawdust, things like that. Yeah. That could be in the vents as well. It might be worth it to clean. Yeah. Anyway, and, right? and, and new construction, we see a lot of debris you know, left in duct work. Just, and, just and as builders don't clean them out. Huh? They just no. don't clean them. Mm -hmm. Not, not that I've seen. Down the road, we should do something about what to look for in a duct cleaning company. I think we'll, we'll actually. <laughs> I saw an email come in a couple yeah. of months ago about that. I haven't gotten to it yet, but I'll try to put down the yeah. front burner for next week or next time we're with you.